morning. Good morning. It's a big day today. It is. Well, I don't know. I'll shut the door. Yeah. Don't worry oh about shit. It. Oh sorry. I thought sorry. you had like. I just don't worry. I thought, don't, don't. <laughs> thought your house is automated. Right. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Just went up in a massive like surge and then just stopped just before. <laughs> and because I was like, obviously the plan is to sell it too, but I've got a new strategy, which I'll talk about in a minute. Well, is this literally six weeks? Yeah. Yeah, it's literally like six weeks ago we were here and we, we did the buy. And you remember when you were gonna press the button and you didn't do it? Well, I'm gonna hit buy. Do you wanna hit buy? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hit goodbye. Come on, you hit it. Go no, on, I'm hit. not touching that. Then I can blame you if it goes wrong. Well, I didn't want to be like the beer. I didn't want to touch it with my kind of like, you know. It might not have gone up. Yeah. If I'd have touched it, it might have just been sat there still. If you had attached it though, I guess like in court, you could have probably said that that was my idea, my bite. You probably entitled half of it. So you've lost half a million dollars like, by not doing it. It's literally six weeks ago. I can't believe how fast it's gone up. It doesn't make any sense. Like, my, I thought it would go up over like a few years. But because of the way that it's moved and the way it's gone up, now I'm like rethinking the plan. So, yeah, it's, um, it's been literally six weeks and some million dollars. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, so it's still, you've got a new strategy, but it's still when you get to the two mil. Yeah, which yeah. I'll come on to. Okay. A few people have messaged me saying that when they, um, actually friends of mine, like really good friends of mine, they were like, when you did that buy, I bought some too, and I've made like X, X amount. Yeah. And I'm like, no way. I'm like, I kind of wonder if people did buy at the same time. I wonder how many people actually bought and how much, how much money has been made since. Because obviously if you bought at the time that I did, it's gone up, it's doubled. Yeah. Right, so everyone would have made money. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It'd be interesting to know, but how can you tell? It's interesting to, to, to hear you say like you didn't expect, you thought it might have taken a couple of years. Yeah. It's taken six weeks. Six weeks, yeah, it's crazy. It's the Truman Show. You know, get messages, people go like, how come you're not stressed and stuff like that? And like, like it feels like they're more stressed than I am. And I think it's because like ultimately, the funny thing with money is that ultimately it doesn't m make much difference. It's like, I still eat a croissant every day. Yeah. You know, have a coffee every day, pick up Bruno's poo or Morgs. Do you know what I mean? It's like nothing really changes. I find like the, the only biggest difference is you don't have that, you have that security, but ultimately everything stays the same. Yeah. So like when, when people get excited, almost like it's like a bit like winning the lottery, I mm -hmm. suppose. Um, but most people don't know what they're going to do with it and ultimately it doesn't change mm -hmm. anything. So but you know what security is like, to have that security is, is it's like worth his weight in Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Invest in a million and say, then it goes to two million. Is that my job is managing money? That's basically my job. So when I didn't have any money, I didn't have to manage any money. Yeah. But if you don't manage money, you lose money. 
right? So if you don't invest it in the right places, you, you say, say for example, obviously two million, that's like a rarity obviously, but if you don't manage that money properly, it just disappears. I saw a funny thing this week on, um, on Reddit, it's a South Park clip, and it talks about how banks absolutely screw you over. So Connor, add that clip from the South Park, ready? Stan, now more than ever, you need to understand the importance of saving money. But Grandma said I could use this money to buy whatever I want. Okay, next please. Go on, Stanley. How can I help you, young man? I got a hundred dollar check from my grandma, and my dad said I need to put it in the bank so it can grow over the years. Well, that's fantastic. A really smart decision, young man. We can put that check in a money market mutual fund. Then we'll reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Yeah, inflation, all those things. So that, that becomes your job. And that's why I say with anyone that owns a company, whether it's a massive company or small, you have to be good at managing money, investing money, because that's half of the job now. So say you have 50 grand in the bank or 100 grand in the bank, if that hundred grand isn't making more money, then, then you're basically failing yeah. as an as a owner of a company. And it doesn't matter if it's like 10 grand in the bank. We've talked about this. 10 grand in the bank. That 10 grand should be earning more money. If you, if you think about that over a lifetime, if you don't manage that money properly, imagine how much you lose. It's crazy. No. And the thing with managing money as well is that you've always got to hedge against inflation. We talked about inflation before. And to give you an idea on inflation in America, since 2008 to 2000, 2020, they printed um, $3.5 trillion. Mm -hmm. Since COVID, a year and a bit, they've printed $4 trillion. Oh shit. Right? So imagine how much inflation is gonna be in the next year. So say, say you've got 100 grand, right? It's probably gonna be about 10%. So this is why assets are all going up in price. And this is why I talk about mortgages. Like people, people go, oh, I bought a house for this and then I sold it for this like 20 years later. If you actually think about inflation and, and add that all up, you, no one makes money on houses. Then just don't. Because you think of all the interest you paid, you think about inflation. Like when you were a kid, how much was a Mars bar? Oh, like 14 and a half pence. I'm 90 years old. 14 and a half. <laughs> 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 Not half pence when they, you were younger. It was half peas when I was younger. I used to buy, I used to go, oh look, those mojos in that jar. I'm like, I got 10p. I like that 20 because they're half pence. No, like, oh, they okay, but you didn't have a half penny. Yes. What? There was, oh, was it half? Yeah, there was I, half peas. I don't know. There had to be half peas. I don't know if there were. The Mars bar now, you can pay like a pound. A pound, down there half the size, I reckon. Yeah, but what's the difference? Nothing. A Mars bar's still the same. Yeah. But that's inflation. The pound is worth five times less. Yeah. Almost, you know, and that's what inflation. So, I think it was like around 1913, something like that. The Federal um, Reserve was created, and since then, the dollar, the worth of a dollar, has gone down 98 percent. Amazing, insane. 98 percent. Insane. So imagine what? Okay, so imagine this is this is the scam of money, and this is why Bitcoin's so amazing. Is that imagine what a hundred grand will get you now, right? And then imagine what a hundred grand will get you in ten years. It's probably going to be twenty grand's worth of stuff now. With Bitcoin, because there's only twenty-one being made, uh, twenty-one million being created, being mined, eighteen point eight-ish have been mined already. Um, four to five million have gone missing from old hard drives. Amazing. You know, so there's like two point two million left to be mined. Yeah. And this is why the price will just continue to go up over ten, the next 10 years. It's just not gonna... And on Tuesday, tomorrow, because it's Monday, if you're honest, yeah. Tuesday, tomorrow, El Salvador, Bitcoin becomes legal tender, official. Amazing. So they can buy in shops, everything, everywhere. And I think the government had given them all like $30. To give you an idea, El Salvador, 70% of the people there don't have a bank. And in the future, they're saying now that in the future, People that are born now will never have a bank account. They'll only use their phone and they'll just blip around. You know, like Apple Pay, we already do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But in the future, it will just be like Bitcoin or a or US dollar, you know, backed by Bitcoin. That's the hope. But kids now, think about it. At the moment, if you want to open a bank account, what do you, need? you need to go in the bank, you need to fill out forms, all this kind of stuff, right? In the future, you'll just have a Bitcoin wallet and then you'll just go around and you'll, I'll send money to you. We need to do a trip to El Salvador. Mate, it's a bit sketchy there. I know it is. I'm up for it, but <laughs> you never want to leave Wales because of your COVID bollocks. Well, I, I know a man that will take care of us. Yeah? Yeah, SAS guy. Yeah. Uh, dude, I'm 100% down for going to El Salvador. And then spending some money in Bitcoin. Buying a property in Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah? 
<laughs> is this, are we shaking on this? Uh, if we can go with guards, yeah. <laughs> all these um, countries with like smaller economies, it's all going to change when they adopt Bitcoin. Because you can, they can trade all around the world with Bitcoin. Yeah. They won't need the US dollar, they won't need anything. So for me, I've got a website. Can I, would you recommend me adding Bitcoin as payment? Yeah, because you, the other thing is as well, you can have it. So as soon as you accept Bitcoin, it transfers into dollars. You don't have to keep it in Bitcoin. Make yeah, sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. So say like you can buy, you go and buy coffee in El Salvador. Um, they might have a setup there where you pay for the two dollars or whatever, probably like a dollar yeah. there uh, in a bit of Bitcoin. Um, but that gets transferred straight into dollars into their account okay. immediately. Yeah. So it's not like you have to keep it in Bitcoin. How do you time the market so well? Do you know, so many people have asked this, and it, okay, because I, I obviously study on chain, which is basically because with Bitcoin, you can, you, because it's an open ledger and an open system, you can, there's a, there's a website called Glassnode. I'll link it in the description, but if you like studying charts, that's the perfect way because you can see what's going on where Bitcoin's being moved. Um, and from that, there's really good like analysts that you can like listen to and they study it day by day and at the moment i think it was like yesterday it's like um the most amount of bitcoin has been taken off exchanges which means people are hoarding it they're not selling it yeah it's like the highest amount in two years and that normally means the price is going to go up because there's no supply we talked about i yeah. talked about supply actually in that instagram yeah. video um so but i think for me like one of the best skills you can learn is to learn fake news yeah. and, and, and FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt. It, that's basically fake news, right? If you can, luckily I did advertising. And so like when I read an article, I can sort of, I can figure out whether it's trying to manipulate you or sell you something or it's genuine, right? I, 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 ask, I ask people like this all the time. And they're like, oh, because we need news. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't, who cares there's a fire in Greece? I'm like, no one. Like, we don't care about that. Like, literally, we don't care, you know? And it's like, if you look at it, and the whole um, the, the whole thing that's going on now, yeah? I can't say it, because they were like, yeah, um, they were like, what do you call it? They're like, Ghost, it? block, ghost you and the, shadow ban. Yeah, they're, they're like, block, block the video. Like, when you, when you watch the news, <clears throat> like, as soon as that changed, it, all of a sudden, it was like, scaring you about the environment. Yeah. Then it was scaring you about Afghan. Mm -hmm. you know and all these kind of things it's like literally do not watch the news that any any young person out there probably don't watch it anyway but the biggest skill you can have is to like manage the information that comes through to you and then be a critical thinker about why that piece of information is being put out and i do that all the time with everything and with Bitcoin, I do that especially because that's, you know, I read what's going on all the time, but I also compare it to like live on-chain data. Is I actually thought on Friday, I think it was Friday, I think that's when I messaged you going, holy moly, you know? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, ah, and I did an Instagram story and I was yeah. like, oh my God. I actually thought it was just gonna plow through too. That's what I thought, right? Yeah. But it's kind of just stayed under. <laughs> Annoyingly, it's like testing me. Being so close to the two, do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, you know when you're like running around a racetrack, you know, doing like 400 meters or whatever, but like you get to the end and you just sort of absolutely stack it before the finish line? <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. And um, Connor, edit in a clip of someone stacking it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait this week and hopefully, I think it will continue. If it plows through $2 million, I'm gonna wait, right? And what I'm gonna do is, as it goes up, it say it gets to 2.1, something like that. If it goes back down to two, I'm gonna sell it, right? So I'm never gonna take less than two, mm -hmm. right? That's my plan, yeah? But if in the next sort of, three to five days, if it, if it doesn't go over to it, if it's where it is now, I'm just gonna get rid of it, Yeah. right? If it goes, plows through it and continues, I'm gonna have a trigger, yeah, to sell it if it comes back down to two. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, you, you can set triggers up, can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's basically the plan. Yeah. So I, hopefully it'll just continue. If it gets to like the interesting bit and the stressy, like fun bit will be 
if it gets to like 2.5 and it starts coming down to like 2.3, it'll be like, do I sell it? Do I sell it? You know what I mean? I mean, hopefully, I'll be great. With it. Yeah. But um, if it goes up 10% from now, it'll be at 2.2. Right? That's a huge amount. Yeah. So the plan will be to, if it comes back down to two, get rid of it, but enjoy this little journey over the next couple of weeks. But I mean, six weeks ago, it was at one and now it's at two. So in another six weeks, it could be at four. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Um, so we'll see, but that is the plan. All right. Sound right? Sound good plan? Sounds, sounds, like, good plan? Sol- sounds like a solid plan. As long as it goes over. Yeah. If, but if it doesn't next five, eight, five days, then I call it a day, and a have it. Trigger in place. But if it goes over and then it comes back down, it'd be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing. There you go, that's the update. I need to pack for Ibiza. Are you coming on Wednesday? Because if you are, the idea is to film a vlog. Yeah. Because I've been looking for a villa for like months and months now and I'm going to look at a few. Yeah. It'll be great if you do come over. Well, you know what? Everyone in the comments tell Dayton to come to Ibiza. I'm a wanted man in Spain. <laughs> you're not, you're not. You flew a drone, that was it. I flew a drone and they have to, they want this, this, the, the Spanish police want me for flying a drone. I'll give you next on the, on the new trajectory. No, <laughs> come on. You never know, we, we never know, we never know. All right, well hopefully see everyone on Ibiza. Yeah.